Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly Hank it with the action With the vital speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut Gold BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the prop and not the re -up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Main Just caught a touchdown from the Bay Eyewitness News with Jim Rosenfield, Janet Davies for Sylvia Perez, Mark Shinovsky on sports, Andy Avalos with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. This is Eyewitness News. Good evening, everyone. An Area 4 police have charged 20-year-old Angelo Roberts with the attempted murder of Detective Clarence Longley. Longley was shot in the hand as he sat in the back of a police car last Saturday near the Henry Horner homes. Roberts will appear in Chicago violence court Monday. Chicago police believe a suspect sought for allegedly plotting to blow up a Chicago police station is now the victim of a murder. Investigators have tentatively identified Angelo Roberts as the man found with his throat slit in a car trunk on the city's south side this morning. Roberts and other members of the Four Corner Hustlers street gang were indicted last October for allegedly trying to purchase automatic weapons from undercover federal agents. Those weapons included a rocket launcher, which, according to investigators, was to be fired at the Harrison District Police Station. Yo, yo, we back. It's your boy, Papala. Mob ties. We on our way to Illinois with it. The Shah. The West Side, to be exact. All my niggas from the Shah tapping. Definitely the West Side. I need y'all in the comment box below. Now, today, we are going to be covering... A West Side legend, almost something like an urban legend. And the guy that we're going to be covering today is going to be the notorious Angelo Roberts from the infamous Four Corners Hustlers gang. Now, a little bit about the Four Corner Hustlers before I get into Angelo Roberts. Now, they're going to say it was a gang that was founded in West Garfield Park. And... They was founded by two gentlemen in the 1960s by the name of Walter Wheat and Freddie Gage. Now, based on the history of the gang, they're going to say that they were not allied with any of the other gangs in Chicago until they linked up with the Vice Lords at some point in time, which would form a group by the name of the People's Nation. Now, anybody familiar with that conversion or the time frame on that, I definitely need y'all in the comment box because I'm a little bit lost on that. I need y'all to point me in the right direction. But also, according to various media outlets, they're going to say that the Four Corner Hustlers gang has a reputation for being the most violent and feared street gang in Chicago now. But in a city like Chicago, that is saying a lot because we all know how dangerous the gangs are coming from that city. But... After hearing that, it got me thinking and wondering, why is this gang commonly named as one of the most violent in Chicago? And I just kind of thought of the brief rundown in the history. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the well-known incident with King Cato that the Four Corner Hustlers was associated with. But I'm definitely, definitely going to think that Angelo Roberts has a lot to do with why they think this gang is so dangerous because at his young age he was definitely a wild one and definitely one that was out for power and control it seems like now it seems like around the mid 2000s chicago pretty much had a surge where they would almost i don't want to say promote the violence but right around the time chief keith came out drill music rose to fame chicago was coined Iraq as a term because they said that more deaths was happening in the city than the U.S. government was facing abroad in the wars that they was having going on in Afghanistan and Iraq. But the Chicago that Angelo Roberts grew up in was almost a mirror image of that, if not worse. It's going to have some of the most notorious housing projects that ever known a man like Cabrini Green amongst others but it's always been a gangland state I never forget one of the first people I met that was from Chicago when I moved down to Virginia and they said Chicago is the most gangster city in the United States and I kind of looked at them sideways but after doing a lot of my research I definitely understand how somebody from that city can feel that way 
just to try to put things into perspective for you guys. According to NBC5 Chicago, the city recorded more than 500 homicides in 2012, exceeding New York City, which recorded 419, and Los Angeles, which recorded 299, according to FBI data, which at the time made Chicago the murder capital of the United States. But in the years when Angelo Roberts made a name for himself between 1990 and 94, the murder rates were 851 in 90, 927 in 1991, 940 in 1992, 850 in 1993, and then it would be 930 in 1994. And according to Chicago PD, Angelo Roberts was a big part of that. He was believed to be involved with two murders, but one on July 25th of 1994 would make him infamous and also at the time the youngest chief in Four Corners history. When the founder of the Four Corner Hustler gang, Walter King Wheat, who was 43 at the time, was found shot to death in his car. He was also said to be involved with the shooting of a Chicago police officer who was sitting in his car. Though he was arrested, he was never convicted on murder or attempted murder charges, including the suspicion of that shooting of that Chicago police officer in 1990. Now, it will be a Friday on October 21st in 1994 that would take Angelo Roberts' name from notorious to street legend when authorities would allege that he arranged the purchase of anti-tank rockets along with several fully automatic M16 rifles and two machine guns equipped with silencers from undercover agents from the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Now, and they would allege that Roberts and other alleged members of the Four Corner Hustler Street Gang offered the agents a quarter kilogram of cocaine and $4,000 in return for the weapons, which Roberts allegedly made clear were intended to wage an all-out war on the Chicago Police Department. Now, according to an indictment that was handed down the day before, Roberts and the Four Corner Hustlers gang members told the agents that they planned to use the rocket to destroy the Harrison District Police Station and the city's crime-plagued west side. It's right around this time with stories and even a video would emerge on YouTube of Angelo Roberts getting into a violent confrontation with authorities at the police station and the rumors would say that he was seen whipping up to at least 10 police officers. Now, the streets are going crazy because they're saying it's an inner rift inside of the Four Corner Hustlers gang, which resulted in the murder of the gang's founder, Walter King Wheat. It wouldn't be three months from the time that Angelo Roberts and the other Four Corner Hustlers were indicted for trying to buy those illegal weapons to where Chicago would have a very, very deadly weekend where it was a span of nine homicides over a bloody stretch beginning from about Saturday that lasted through Monday morning where eight of the homicides were shooting and three of the victims were teenagers. At least 27 other people were injured by gunfire over that span. On Sunday of that weekend, about 3.30 a.m., a 12-year-old by the name of Candace Richardson was shot in the head and killed in the front room of her home in the Avon Park neighborhood on Chicago's south side. The shooting was prompted by an unpaid drug debt from a relative who had been staying with Richardson's family. At 5 p.m. on that same Sunday, two teenagers were killed in a gang-related shooting on the south side. Curtis Pitts, 15 years old, from the 300 block of West 42nd Street, and Lonnie Seiler, 18, of the 300 block of West 42nd Place, were shot to death by a gunman who walked out a gateway of 4145 South Princeton Avenue. But then there was a body that was discovered at 1 a.m. Monday at 7009 South Vernon Avenue in the trunk of a brown Chevrolet that was shaked the west side. That body found frozen with their throat slash was tentatively identified as Angelo Roberts, who was 24 at the time. Now in the city with leaders like Larry Hoover, Willie Lloyd, Jeff Fort, it's easy to kind of 
I don't want to say be forgotten about, but kind of be in the background. But y'all let me know where Angelo Roberts rank as far as street figures in Chicago. Who is the Mount Rushmore of Chicago? And I'm not talking about Al Capone because that ain't us. I'm talking about us. Now, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Y'all get in the comment box below. Y'all hit the bell right under this video so y'all know when this real trill spill shit is dropping. Salute to Chicago. I appreciate y'all rolling out the red carpet whenever we step through the hood. And y'all get at me, man. Let me know who we miss. Let me know what cities we ain't go to, what gangsters we ain't cover. I am promise I'm going to get to everybody's every solid story. Y'all already know what it is with me. Y'all tweet me, call me, email me, CC me, text me. Stop me in the street, however y'all want to handle it. I'm here for all that shit. It's your boy, Popular. I'm going to be back. Mob, 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 ties.